Hi guys, uh, today we are going to discuss site-to-site -site VPN in Palo Alto. But before I discuss the laboratory, uh, let's have a brief discussion on how site-to-site -site VPN works. Actually, for site-to-site -site VPN, as you can see on the diagram, we do have a Trust Layer 3 interface configured in here. As you can see, this is the, the users. And then uh, we also have uh, another trust interface in here, which is the remote firewall, which is also the user. By right, uh, in the real world scenario, this one is using a private IP address, same with uh, on this other side. And then uh, on this interface, which is the, the untrust interface in Palo Alto term, this one is facing to the internet, which is using public IP. So uh, in here, if we are going to do, uh, if we are going to reach this other side of the network, we are not able to reach this uh, specific uh, network because this one is uh, using a private IP address. So by right, if we are going to do a pin test in here, we might be able to reach this public IP address. As you can see, before, uh, in order for this to work, this private uh, IP address will be going to be knotted in here so that uh, it will going to pass through on the internet but uh, by using a site-to-site -site VPN we are going to connect uh, IPsec panel in here so that uh, if this uh, host will going to ping this uh, remote host in here he's able to pass through using the VPN okay so uh, let's go now on palo alto bar firewall actually uh, this is the gui interface of palo alto in order to configure the site-to-site -site vpn first uh, we need to create a tunnel uh, for us to create a tunnel we should go on the network tab and then uh, we go to the tunnel actually uh, all this configuration is already uh, been configured so i'm just going to show you how it is being configured as you can see we created a tunnel 12 in here if we are going to look what is the configuration in here just click it as you can see uh, we configure a virtual router in here which is student vr actually at uh, this uh, student vr it has been pre-configured before so I mean to say at uh, this uh, how the firewall is being routed and then we are going to create a security zone actually this uh, additional one in addition to the trust interface which is the inside and then the untrust which is the the one facing to the internet okay actually that is the one that uh, we only need to configure in here uh, as you can see uh, if you want to add a new tunnel all you have to do is to click uh, this add button and then uh, in here you can do all the configuration like we had uh, discussed earlier okay and then uh, afterwards after creating the tunnel interface the next thing that we need to configure is the ike gateways actually in cisco this is the phase one and then uh, for phase two that would be ipsec crypto so in here uh, if you want to create another or new tunnel all we have to do is just like on the tunnel uh, interface just click add but uh, since uh, we already configured the tunnel interface I just want to show you uh, how it is being configured. So we're going to click this one. Okay, so in here, uh, I just put a name for the tunnel interface. And then uh, I I just put it to IPv1 only mode for the version. IPv4. IPv4. And then this one is the... Actually, this is the interface facing to the internet. We are uh, using a sub interface and then this is the lo local IP address as you can see this one is a private IP address because uh, we are just using a laboratory in here so but uh, in the real world this should be a public IP and then the peer or the remote IP address uh, like I said that uh, we are using a private IP that is why it's using 172.16.12.1 and then all we have to do is to to put the pressure key there and then after you configure this one 
the next thing that you need to do is to just click OK and then uh, we're going to configure the phase 2 which is the IPsec crypto for IPsec crypto uh, actually this is the one that uh, we configured there I configured earlier so let's take a look as you will notice in here uh, actually uh, the how we configure it in the laboratory is uh, we configured everything actually this one uh, we did uh, we can also do this one if we are configuring a uh, IPsec crypto because uh, for example uh, there is a remote in the remote firewall you you do not know what is configured in there so it uh, it will be good if you are going to put everything in here so that uh, it will go in to negotiate uh, whatever it is configured on the other side and then uh, once it's already been established you are able to, uh, to go on the CLI to see what is really uh, being used so uh, once you been once you already see what is being used for the encryption authentication and the group this this one is important uh, the group you need to ask this one uh, on the remote for all others uh, you can uh, just add it and just verify at the end once the connection has been established and then just click ok once then the next thing that uh, we need to configure uh, on creating a site to site VPN is the IPsec tunnels as you can see uh, like I said earlier it has been uh, configured so uh, the interface is already active so let's just uh, look at it. so uh, in here as you can see I just put a name and then uh, what the, the tunnel interface that I configured earlier which is tunnel 12 I used IPv4 and O2 key and then uh, as you can see this is the I gateway that we configured earlier just uh, click this drop down menu and you're able to see those uh, same with the IPsec crypto and then just click OK in here and then after you configure the IPsec tunnels the next thing that uh, you need to configure is the routing or the virtual routers which uh, we need to go on the network and virtual routers so in here uh, what we did is uh, we just added the tunnel 12 on the interface so that uh, it is able to route so in here uh, as you can see we just uh, added the tunnel 12 and then we also need to configure the static routes yep uh, just click this one for you to see what we had configured as you can see uh, this is the route to 12 this means that uh, it is the route uh, going to its peer so as you can see this is the destination or this is the private IP address where the host is connected or this is the subnet of the host so it is using tunnel 12 uh, it is going to be routed uh, outside to the, inter to the internet and then the next half uh, just put a anon in here because uh, the interface tunnel 12 will be the one that is going to use okay and then uh, after this uh, see after we configured uh, the after we configured the tunnels and then the virtual routers the, the next thing that uh, we should do is the is on the policy here by the way, uh, if you are going to create a new policy, this might be go on, for example, in here it went on number 3 before, but it is important to put it uh, on the top so that we are able to see the, the traffic. It will go into hit first because uh, by right uh, on the ACL, the first one will go into be analyzed first and then until it hit the traffic. And then uh, just remember that uh, in here we do have uh, this one is the the default rule in here you will not able to remove this one 
as you can see if it's inter zone uh, you are not able to to pass through in here because uh, for inter zone it is the action would be a drop but if it is on intra zone or it's just on the same zone it is able to to allow all the packets will be allowed yep uh, actually uh, this is the the policy that we configured under security as you can see in here uh, we put inter zone and then actually uh, you can also use the universal but uh, for uh, demonstration purposes we use inter zone because uh, it is uh, from from inside going to the internet or the BTN and then uh, the source uh, we should put because uh, we, uh, there are so two sources involved in here we are not going to use the untrust because it will go into pass on the BTN so what we have to do is just add trust L3 which is the private IP of your own host or subnet and then the VPN interface which is uh, connecting to the remote host and then uh, in here as you can see this is th this will be your your subnet private uh, subnet and then this is the remote actually this would be the same yep this would be the same uh, on the source just like on the destination trust l3 for the destination zone and then on the destination address would be your own subnet and then the remote subnet for the application i uh, just put any and uh, the same with service oh we use a service application default and then uh, we're going to allow the traffic and the action then if you want to log also the session once it starts you can click click this one Yep, uh, actually uh, that is the configuration configuration needed for site to site VPN, as you can see. Actually, uh, like I said earlier, uh, if we're going to ping our current uh, IP on this PC, as you can see, is 192.168.11.15, and then uh, on the remote, ping 192.168. That would be 12.50. Yep, as you can see, uh, we are now able to ping that 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 uh, subnet. But if you don't have any VPN, you are not able to ping this one because this one is a uh, private. But uh, since we already configured or the tunnel, the VPN is already up, so we are not able to pass through on the VPN. For troubleshooting purposes, actually, uh, for example, uh, you, are, you are having any issue for your VPN, it is not uh, coming up, and the packets is not passing through on the remote remote network or remote firewall. All you have to do is uh, you're able to check it on the monitor, and then uh, look on the system. Actually, in here, uh, if you are able to see the the traffic for the phase one and phase two actually uh, actually you, you you are able to generate a traffic on the command line by the way for the commands in the CSCLI that will help you to verify the connectivity or the connection of the VPN you can try show VPN IPSA Gateway Student Yep, as you can see, uh, this is the result. All you have to do is to analyze this result and then compare on the remote remote firewall. As you can see, like I told you earlier, you are able to see here uh, what is being configured. DH2, A120, SHA1 and then uh, another command is show VPN tunnel uh, hold on sorry show VPN 
IPsec for phase 2 tunnel okay there's two commands and another one is uh, show VPN flow okay these are the commands that I can help you and then uh, like I said earlier if you want to test if there is any traffic passing through by looking on the monitor on the GUI show VPN like SA this is a uh, phase one if you hit this one and look on the remote firewall you are able to see traffics in here and you are able to verify if you put the wrong key in there uh, yeah here all you have to do is to go in here and then uh, do a refresh but uh, this one is my own firewall so I am not able to see those uh, it would be better if you are go uh, if you're going to ask the your peer to generate some traffic so that uh, you are able to look it uh, on the CLI and then uh, if you want to test the phase 2 all you have to do is to shoot test VPN IPsec SA yep you initiate one IPsec SA and then you can also try to do this to see the the config yep so uh, that is all for I uh, site to site VPN how you configured it and how to do some testing if it's working or not